So Adrian, uh, Google announced its smartwatch plans with Android Wear. What, what are your thoughts? I mean, I think it's, as far as wearables go and wrist-based wearables, it's a step in the right direction. Google's, you know, taking one of the biggest platforms in the world, Android, and they're building software around it that's smart, and what they're doing is they're not trying to recreate the smartphone on your wrist. They're, you know, using their established technologies such as Google Now and Voice Command to really build something that's complementary, something that uses, you know, contextual awareness to deliver the information that you need without you having to work too hard to get it. Okay, Google, open garage. Right, and you said in your story that it's like Google Now on yeah. your wrist. Is your wrist really the right form factor for Google Now, or is there anything that you think it will do that your smartphone can already do? I mean, your smartphone can do a lot of this, but the whole idea is if you're on the go walking around, if you're on the train, uh, Google Now can you know, determine your location, determine what you're doing, and then it can be like, hey, if I know you're trying to go here based off of your past habits, or here's a list of things to do in your exact area, and so it can do those things, and when it's on your wrist, it's a lot quicker and easier than just pulling out your phone. But then when you want to drill down and get more of that information, you can't pull out your phone. So it's like Google Glass for people who don't want to look like cyborgs. Exactly. Exactly. Gotcha. So. Gotcha. And obviously, I think there's a lot there that's attractive on the business side. Yeah, I, I think this makes a lot of sense for Google. They are really trying desperately to get this mobile thing going, right? Mm -hmm. they, they understand search on the desktop. 96% right. of their revenue comes from search. The problem is, is that mobile advertisers right now, they're, they're, they're not really ready for any of this. They know that people are clicking on ads mm -hmm. more, but they don't know that that translates into sales. Mm -hmm. And so Google here is saying, you know what, we're going to give you all this context. We're going to know what the heart rate of a potential uh, you know, customer is. We're going to know where they are. They're going to know a lot more about their customers. And then they're going to be able to allow advertisers to advertise to that. The question is, what is it going to look like? Right, right, right definitely. You know, a lot of the sort of early concepts and mock-ups that we've seen are very much the traditional smartwatch form, which you know is a little disappointing. But if they can make it work for the time being, there's nothing saying that that won't change over time. Right. So you're going to look like a goober, <laughs> but just not as much as if you're wearing Google Glass. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. All right. Solved. <laughs>